Hey everyone, in today's Zoom meeting, I want to show you how to use waiting rooms as a host of a meeting. So when someone tries to come into your meeting, they have to get an approval by you. So by default, just a few days ago, Zoom made this the standard. So on your Zoom meeting, I have a meeting open, no one's here yet. On the security icon over here, I have enabled meeting checked on. It's always checked on now by default before you had to go ahead and enable waiting rooms. Let me show you where this is on the website too, really fast. It's on zoom.us. So if you come to zoom.us and log into your profile here and go to the settings icon here on the left side. So just sign in on the right side, come to the settings on the left side and go to in meeting advance. And if you basically take this all the way down here, there's an option called waiting room. And this is where you could really change the settings if you want to be more advanced but we're not going to touch this by default it should be on i wanted to show you just in case it wasn't on for you now inside of this meeting let me have someone else try to join the meeting so i'm going to press i and i'm going to share the meeting id and the password with them here or just copy the url and email that to them so they could join so now that person typed in their meeting id and password and look on the bottom it says dan is trying to enter this room and they're in the waiting room. So I could press C waiting room here and it will open this whole area. So if I have a lot of people here, I could go ahead and admit them one at a time. If I have three or four or 10 people, for example, it's gonna say admit all. So I could do it all after browsing and seeing every, everybody's okay. Or I could press remove. So if I press remove, it's gonna say, do you want to remove them? Once removed, Dan will not be able to rejoin the meeting. So make sure that's what you want and then you could go ahead and press OK. If you do want to admit them, you could just go ahead and press admit and they've joined the meeting now here. And if I go to gallery view, we could see everybody side by side. If I had a hundred people even, for example, I could see everybody and they would still all have to go through the waiting room. So that's a security feature from Zoom to make sure unwanted guests can't join your meeting. And if someone accidentally gets through and you press admit on their name by accident, you could always go to the security tab, press remove participant, and then go ahead and press remove on top. And it will kick that person out of that meeting. If that same person tries to re-enter the room using the password again, it's going to say you cannot because you previously were removed by the host of the meeting. So there's no way they could try to come back in. If you do want to bring them back in, you'll have to set up a new meeting and then re-invite them again with a new code. I hope you found this Zoom video useful. There are also a dozen other Zoom videos on this channel, so make sure you watch those if you wanna learn more about Zoom. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.